Well, thank you so much for joining me once again for all the latest news that are making headlines in Uganda. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly do subscribe and also do tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, legendary Dr. Jose Chameleon has responded to a section of NUP supporters who were threatening to shower him with bottles if he makes a mistake of performing at Mohozi Kanerugawa's birthday celebration. Now, Chameleon says you people are not going to make decisions for him. He actually questions that why is it that some people are mixing politics with music? And on social media, there is also a section of Ugandans who are saying that Dr. Jose Chameleon should never step in South Africa if he makes a mistake of performing at Mohozi Kainerugawa's birthday. But Chameleon says, you people, Temugenda Muti Satisa, he will perform in South Africa, you like it or not, and there is nothing that you guys are going to do to him. Well, in his own words, he said, I'm here to sing because of Mohozi. Tonyumiza Kamocha Tumbav. I make my choices. Some of you want to make decisions for me. I won't accept that. Why mix politics with music all time? I no longer care about what you say because I won't contest again. That chapter ended. Some people have been saying I won't sing in South Africa or any other places if I perform here at Mohozi's birthday. No one can bully me. I will perform wherever I want. Well, there you go. That is legendary Dr. Jose Chameleon making it clear to those threatening him, especially on social media. Now, in other news, a section of NRM supporters are calling upon UCC, Uganda Communications Commission, to shut down or penalize NTV Uganda for being unbalanced. Now, this is because they did not broadcast anything connected to Mohozi Kanerugawa's birthday in their news programs, but they broadcasted stories about NUP President His Excellency Robert Chagulanyu Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine. Now, these people are saying that unprofessionalism must come with a penalty from UCC, otherwise they won't continue to see that happen and they just look on. So, right now, we are waiting for UCC to respond to their request of shutting down NTV or penalizing them. However, I cannot confirm that UCC will say something about this matter, but in case of any development, I'll keep you posted. Well, in other news, former presidential advisor Tamale Mirundi finally reconciled with veteran journalist Andrew Mwenda at Mohozi Kainerugawa's birthday celebration in State House. Now, Tamale Mirundi and Andrew Mwenda have not been friends for a long time and Tamale Mirundi has said before that Andrew Mwenda is one of the mafias we have in Uganda. But according to the pictures in circulation on different social media platforms, these two are seen rubbing shoulders together, an indication that they are now in good terms. Well, right here on the Buzz UG, I wish them all the best. Well, in other news... The president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, has called upon unity among Muslims as he shared iftar dinner with hundreds of Muslims in his home located in Magere. Now, Bobby Wine said, as NUP, they stand with all the Muslims that have been denied justice and others that have been persecuted for standing strong in what they believe in. He also called upon them to always stand on the side of the oppressed Ugandans. We know that it's a source of blessings, but also uh, have an attachment with uh, Islam. My grandmother was a Muslim. My community, this entire village of Seta, most of them are Muslims, and most of my close friends are Muslims. So in this season, I see it imperative to share a meal and connect more because it's a holy month to renew ourselves and to connect more as human beings. The message is a, is a message of uh, solidarity to the Muslim community, to all the Muslims that are being persecuted, killed and imprisoned just because they are Muslims, to all the Muslims that have not, uh, that have been denied justice, we stand with them and we remind them that they are just us. 
valid, they're just as good as any other person. We gathered here as Muslims from, from Uganda, and we have been accorded enough facilities to break our fast. You are aware that as we speak now, commodity prices, especially for essentials, have escalated in this country. We want to thank President Chabrani and NUP for assisting a number of Muslims who gathered here in the thousands to break their fast. Are we about calling for unity among the Muslims, but also calling for peace in the country and also for peaceful transition of power. I will also uh, try to see that we gather all the people irrespective of their uh, religious backgrounds uh, and to also uh, preach and show unity to the entire country. So and finally, Bobby Wine wished all the Muslims across the country all the best in the last days of the Holy Month. Well, those are some of the stories that are making headlines right now in Uganda. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly do subscribe. And also do not forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications. We are the Buzz UG. Thank you.